family. Hey, how are you? It is the late evening. Actually, it's about 11, 14 in the p.m. on the 12th of June. I believe this is the 12th of June. Today is Tuesday. I believe it's the 12th. Though. I'm going to go with my first mind and say that it is the 12th. But um, I wanted to talk about um, well, actually, I want to call something into our reality, and it is a twin flame. For those of you guys that are unfamiliar with what a twin flame is, we're going to talk about it. I do have some notes below because I didn't want to miss anything. But instead of us discussing it, which we will be, and we're going to dissect it and talk all about it, but we're also going to call it into our reality, okay? We're going to use the law of attraction and we're going to call this into our existence. So, um, <clears throat> and my reasoning for this is because it has been on my mind for uh, some time now. And especially once I begin to uh, vibrate higher and tap into my higher self. And that is when I began to look at things differently and I wanted different things in my reality and in my personal space. And so, um, you know, and when I became single again, um, this... This last time, I decided that I will internalize a lot of things and go from within and figure myself out and grow from the inside out. And also look at the part in which I played in a lot of the foolishness of my past relationships and to also um, stand in acceptance, um, tell the truth about it, um, and also redirect some of my thoughts that just were not for my better good. They just truly didn't serve me. So, um, so as I've been on this journey, um, and then I begin to look at things in relationships and so on and so forth. And my relationships, not only my romantic ones, but um, also my relationships, my platonic ones as well. And so I begin to just look at shit just differently, you know. And so it's like, okay, now that... Um, I'm single, um, but I am entering back into the dating realm, and it's like, okay, now, I'm not getting any younger, um, and now I know more about me. And one thing about this life, as you begin this spiritual journey, you begin to know that you are always evolving and every stage of your life is going to require a different you. So with that understanding, you need to know that you're going to always, always, always be a student. Okay? So as long as you're okay with that and surrender to that, you will be fine. That, you know what, I'm going to forever be learning about me regardless to what age or stage I am in this life. I'm going to always, always, always be a student. So... With such said, then you like, okay, now I'm reading up some things, I'm thinking about some things, I'm rolling some things around, you know, weighing some options, looking at past pain, looking at my traditional beliefs, and just also trying to gain my own perspective and also trust me. And as you begin to do those types of things, you also want a little bit more of organic type of connections. And with that, you know, a lot of times people always say, you know what, I want me a soulmate. I want me a best friend and this and this and this, you know. Well, it can go a little bit deeper than that if you believe that that is your goal. If you just want somebody that you just want to kick it with or, you know, this is you're on some old fetish type shit or a fantasy, somebody that you meet and you're so attracted to their aesthetics on the outside, the whereas you're not really getting into their core nor their soul to try to really figure out how they tick and what really moves them and see if there's a mirroring effect within the both of you guys that you can actually evolve from and learn from. You so you so hooked on the looks of it all that you're not getting into the meat, you know, you're not getting into the depth. And so I'm like, okay, so I'm still learning. I'm still reading. And I'm like, okay, now, what is this twin flame thing? What is this? 
You know, I know I want me a life partner. I've said this for years. I want me a life partner. I want me a life partner. But, and I've always said, you know, my definition is someone that is willing to go through the thick and the thicker with me. Um, and, you know, that's going to be steadfast and so on and so forth. And communicative, 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 I can't even say it, communicative, com communicative. <laughs> I can't. I can't even say it right, but at any rate, you know what I mean. And so, uh, so I begin to look at, okay, well, I want me a life partner. Then as I begin to look at life partner, I'm like, okay, yeah, I like those characteristics, but I want to go just a little bit deeper, you know, but still be on the same realm with the still same um, common goals, which is a lifetime, Okay. So then it's like, what is this twin flame thing? What is this twin flame? What am I hearing? Twin flame, twin flame. What is this, Tina? What is it that you want so badly? You know, that you want this life partner to go the distance and you want more than that. So what is it that? What's more than that? A twin flame. Check that out. So I do have some notes below. Okay. We got our paperwork. We ain't got no teleprompter. We doing this right here, and we just as peachy king with it. We not going to complain. We're going to count it all joy. This is what it is. This is our reality right now. We're going to stand firm in it. We're going to rejoice in it, and we're going to roll with it. How about that one? So, I'm going to confer back and forth. I'm going to look down. I'm going to look up, but still, you know, I'm going to ad lib a little bit, throw my own shit in there, but it is what it is. But... In my definition and from my studies, I have found that a twin flame, there's a sacred, divine soul connection with another individual. Whereas you're willing to surrender to the love, stand in faith in God, and also be willing to go the distance which is limitless. There's no beginning nor end. We're just going to learn from each other, and we're going to ride it to the test of time. That, my friend, is just getting into the tree or somewhat of the branches of what this twin flame is. And so I'm like, oh, my God, I want this. This is what I want. I will no longer spend no time on no foolishness. I desire. My twin flame. That's where I'm at. Okay? That is where I'm at. Whereas we are completely learning from each other in a mirroring effect. Whereas we both have the same characteristics between the both of us. But whatever is not serving us, we're working together to rectify those transgressions. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, man, it's a yin and yang in effect. We're working, you, you know, you know, it's a push and pull. We're working together to make this shit, you know, just limitless. The possibilities are like endless, you know? There's there's no there's no fakeness. It goes beyond a fantasy because a fantasy is temporary. And once that fantasy is completed, then what? Once that vision of this perfect whatever escapade, situation, turn up, twist, whatever the get down is, once that is over, what do you stand on? You're going to have to have some form of a foundation that's going to be strong. And as I said in numerous times, you know, when you have strong roots, you never have to worry about the wind. So with that, we're going deeper. We're not just wanting somebody that we want to just kick it with. You know what I'm saying? I just want me a kicking it partner. You know what I'm saying? A smoking partner. You know what I'm saying? A bed buddy. A jump off. Why are you wasting your time? Why are you wasting your time and giving up all your goods to something that you know damn well has no real good staying power? You guys don't even really like each other. So it's like, what are we doing? We're not living, we're existing. We're just rolling and just rolling the shit out. Just riding it out until whenever. Till somebody gets sick of one another or somebody fuck around and meet somebody to help them get over this right here. Why are we wasting each other's time? 
You know what I'm saying? But the way in which this life is set up, the way economics and all this shit is running, the way the government got us all set up, it's cheaper to keep her. It's easy to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to roll with it until a better time, until you get a better job, until you get a better place, until you get more affordable housing, or whatever the case may be. Sometimes you end up in a situation where it's, you know what, due to financial uh, bondage, we pretty much... You know, going to do this right here until we're able to do something else. You know what I mean? And that's not really living. That's sneaking around. That's trying to find some shit on the back end. I mean, how, how, how could that actually be fun? I can't see it as fun. And as this stage in my life, for me, oh my God. It isn't so much of, you get away from the aesthetic aspect of course, you want somebody that is, you know, pleasing to the eye. You want somebody, when you look at him, you be like, God damn, that is all me right there. That is me. Yeah. You want to be, of course, physically, sexually attracted to them. You know what I mean? Because in there, for that's what get our juices flowing. For Because we as women, it's all in our minds first. You know what I'm saying? Whereas men are more, you know... They're more of, you know, a visuals, whereas we are a little bit more internal, you know what I'm saying? We're more emotional with ours, you know what I'm saying? That's why it takes us so long to come. We can't come as quick as y'all, because hell, if y'all looking at it, y'all hitting it from the back, shit jingling, you know, titties clacking together, whatever your get down is or how you like it, then therefore that is making a man come you know, much more quicker or getting them in the mindset of doing so. Whereas a woman, we're connecting on a soul level, most of us. You know what I'm saying? We're on some old, you know what, I love him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, this is so special. Oh, my God, I can't live without him. Oh, my God, he's everything I need. Oh, my God, he's so handsome. Look at my baby. You know, we on all that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? So we on a whole, we're think, probably thinking about two different things. Isn't that so crazy? But it's true game. We're probably thinking about two different things. But the thing is, you want to go deeper than that. And you want to vibrate higher than that. And you want it to be an equal love, whereas we both have surrendered. We surrendered. We're, we're going to communicate. We're going to bargain. You know what I'm saying? And we're both going to make the needed sacrifices to make this just grow. You know what I mean? So let's go to this right here. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Um, twin flame is sacred. We said that in so many words. It's true love. It's a spiritual union. These are my own notes, okay? A mixture of friendship, a love affair with another soul that fulfills us. Their mind and conscious flows from their soul just as ours. So you're like on the same wavelength. Like I always say namaste, like I do hashtag namaste. Namaste means my soul recognizes your soul. So whenever you see somebody say namaste, namaste means my soul recognizes your soul. That's what that means. So, you know, and in this twin flame situation, your souls are what's connected. Not so much as the physical aspect, because of course, yes, you know, this person is all encompassed. It's more of like, it's not a beginning and end. It's more of like a vortex. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're just, it's just evolving and just swirling around so many beautiful things. So, okay. Okay. They understand us and our soul. It's an unconditional love and passion with our mirroring. Uh, and there's also a mirroring effect. Okay. So, yes, not only that, they are a mirror because we are what we attract. So, whatever um, characteristics that are in you that you don't really like, you're going to meet that same person. And that's what's so comforting. That's why it's so hard to let them go. Because you cannot grow in comfort. And when and, and, and when shit is some bullshit, it's comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit be comfortable as a motherfucker. Because you ain't really trying to grow past it. 
It's like I'm in my comfort zone. I know it's some bullshit, but damn it, it's comfortable to me. You know what I mean? Why would I want to go out there? It's like what you like to do or what you like to do and where you like to go and what you like to eat. You know, you don't want to go through the process of all those things. So what do you do? You sit in the bullshit. Until somebody end up cheating on somebody, because what's gonna end up happening is it's gonna it's combustible. It's gonna it's gonna fall apart. There's no foundation. There's nothing. You came together on some love shit, some fantasy shit, you know. And just like with people with the threesome thing, I've never had a threesome before in my life. I know a couple of relationships in my life it has been talked about. Um, not something concrete like, oh, we about to do this. You know what I'm saying? But as far as having such discussions, yes, we've had such, such discussions. But nothing at the phone, set up, none of that old type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because the way my soul is set up, I'm too territorial for it, really. You know what I'm saying? Not so, you know, there's jealousy and there's also being territorial. Territorial is, this is my shit right here. Don't come within my circle. Don't fuck with mine. That's what the territorial is. Jealous is, sometimes it's just idiotic. Sometimes it's juvenile. Sometimes jealousy can have your mind so twisted up to where you believe in some bullshit that ain't even really taking place. Jealousy is erratic. You know, it's childlike. It's narcissism. You know what I'm saying? Jealousy can get you in a whole other, sh in some whole domestic violence shit because your mind is playing tricks on you and it got you thinking that this person is doing this, this, and this, or somebody is doing this, this, and this, and it don't have to necessarily true, necessarily be true. That means that there's a breakdown in the communication. We're not communicating, and nor are we trusting what we have. You can't possibly trust what you have. If you're sitting up here being jealous, how are you going to be jealous? Because that means there's a trust issue somewhere. But when you're working towards some twin flame shit, you're surrendering to the bullshit. And you're saying, you know what? Check this out. I love you. And I'm willing to go through this life with you and learn with you. And we're going to elevate to our higher self. And we're going to live a limitless, abundant life. We're going to stand on the foundation of God. We're going to live, love, pray, laugh, and learn together. Oh, it gets deep. It's not so much of, oh, I'm just going to, I'm going to get me a little honey dip for the, for the winter. Or, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to get me somebody for the summer to just shack up with or cohabitate or whatever your get down is. No, it's deeper than that. Because other than that, it's something to do or you just simply wasting your time. What are you doing? You're going the wrong way. Which is going to lead you to either... A pregnancy that has not been planned. It could possibly lead to your pH balance uh, being off. And that's just on the, the the low end. It could take you to a whole another level. Whereas now you sitting up with some things that cannot be cured. Why? Because you, it's backed by lust. The emotions are erratic. There's no strong foundation. There is no trust. The communication is rocky as shit. For the simple fact for the simple fact that we never got a chance to really understand or know each other. You know? Let's get to know each other. So then therefore I know exactly what I'm dealing with. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that what you want? And then not only that, but there's no making fun. Because you got your bullshit. I got my bullshit, but guess what? Let's sort these boxes and shit out. We're going to have a discard box. We're going to have a mendable box. And we're going to have a box that we're going to surrender to that we're going to work together. Okay, you got some shit, I got some shit, but hell, we're going to put it together. We're going to work on it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to work on some shit. Okay? Now, let me go back to my notes. Fantasies are illusions of passion and are an unrealistic love. That's what I said. It's unrealistic. It doesn't last. It's just good for the moment based on a temporary goddamn situation. And what did I tell you about? You can make, you can, a temporary emotion can have a lifetime drawback 
on that bullshit. Now you sitting up with this bitch that you got to deal with this motherfucker with this baby and all this other shit and fucking with your income and all this other stuff. Why? Because she had a fat ass. I done told y'all before. Big asses nowadays is equivalent to having a master's degree. On some real shit. Be alright looking and watching. See what it get you. It's some perks in this life. Just for looking a certain type of way. And it is truly unfair. It's juvenile. It's very superficial. But that is the life. And that's the, that's the life that we're living today. That's the way in which this world is set up. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna ever go away. It's from the beginning of time. And, and through the test of time. That ain't gonna never go away. You know what I'm saying? A beautiful woman, a good-looking ass man, man, they don't fall in the category of the ratio 10 to 1, 20 to 1, whatever, whatever, no. Because not, they're not considered as mediocre. And the more shit you got, the more shit you got going for you, it don't do nothing but put you in such a premium status. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a problem. You have a problem getting a date, getting laid, getting some head, whatever, whatever your get down is. You don't have a problem with that. And they will pay every bill you owe. Every motherfucker you owe. They will pay them motherfuckers. Trust me. Okay? Their money is no object. Especially when you look a certain type of way, you begin to attract different type of people as well. People with all kind of income brackets. Okay? You have a tendency to meet the haves and the, you know, the working class and some have-nots as well. You know, the live and direct niggas. You know what I'm saying? That the liquor store niggas and motherfuckers that's, you know, posted up, you know, at the park type dudes or barbershop dudes, whatever the get down is. You have a tendency to meet all kinds. You hear so much game. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. You know, when you look all right, you have a choice of a man or a woman. It don't matter whichever way you want to go. Whatever your get down is, there is somebody there that's willing to satisfy your needs. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't always good. All money ain't good money. You know what I'm saying? Everything that feel good ain't always good. If it tastes good, sometimes it ain't good for you. You know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a drawback on some shit. You know what I'm saying? But when you begin to say, well, you know what? Fuck all this right here. Now I want something a little bit more substantial. I want to go a little bit deeper than this. And that surpasses a soulmate. Because as I said before, a soulmate can come in all types of different forms. You know what I'm saying? A soulmate goes far beyond a sexual partner. But a soulmate is your mirror. And they are one that you learn a lot of life lessons from. Okay? And a soulmate can elevate to your twin flame life partner... You know, those types of things. They can because the thing is you're learning so much from them. It's a matter of a fight or flight. Either they're going to fight through it or they're going to flee. And whenever they flee, you're supposed to let them go. Which means that your destiny is not tied to them. Because your twin flame is not going to ever depart. They're not going to leave you for what reason? I love you. I surrender to you. We are one. Our souls have connected. It's a namaste situation. How the hell are you going to leave me? Where are we going? We're going together. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. And that is where I am going. And that's what we calling into existence. We're going to quit bullshit. We're getting too old for the games. You know what I'm saying? Getting too old for the shenanigans. You want to get to a point in your life where you know what? I want some stability. You know what I'm saying? I want to feel good about myself. I want to really go and take me a cruise with a motherfucker that I'm so in love with. I want to go on this trip with my life partner, with my twin flame. And baby, he got my full four corners. Isn't that beautiful? Man. Let's confer back to our notes. Okay, it's your authentic self, communicate, bargain, and compromise. Very, 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 very essential. And if you're not willing to do that, then therefore you might as well continue to sit back, kick back, and work on you.
Okay, because a lot of times, a lot of people don't, they're not, they don't even know that they're the ones that's, that's wrong because they're, they haven't tapped into their higher self. They're not on a spiritual journey. They're not pushing for growth. They on some right now type shit. Look, check this out. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But they don't realize that they're already broken. They're pointing fingers on it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. Anytime a person tell you that it's you, you did this, you did that, you, 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 you. Guess what? They don't even know who they are. Because if they did, they know. Everything that they see in you is the same bullshit that they doing. Okay? But they don't see it in them. Okay? They don't see it in them. You know, so sometimes, like I said before, you have to accept a motherfucker for where they at. If, if, if they're not trying to grow with you, you have to release them and allow them. Because they're going to, along their path, as long as they have faith, they're going to meet someone that's going to help them digest and dissect their issues. It just wasn't you. It just wasn't me. Okay? I have to learn to accept that. Okay, I'm not the one that he's willing to surrender the bullshit to. He's, I'm not the one that he wants. We're not on the same page. You know what I'm saying? We're not on the same page. So it was like, okay, so what do you do? But what you need to do is be adult about it and say, you know what, check this out. We gave it, we gave it all we had. You know what I'm saying? We, well, no, nah, we really didn't, but you know, it ain't worth fighting for. Cause basically that's what you're saying. That it ain't worth fighting for. Because anything that's worth fighting for, there's no beginning nor end. It's like, shit, we just, we, this is something else that we need to pray on and learn from. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Um, let's see, what does this say? It's zero ups and downs. Um, true love is a, spirit, is a spiritual process. I've said that. Twin flame love is a soul, con uh, is a soul connection. Is divine and unbreakable. Check that out. No beginning or end. There's no, there's no, oh, well, if you see this in me, you're going to leave me. There's no fear of getting left, getting put down, getting hurt, or nothing. That's what's called surrender. I am, sur I'm laying my burdens down. I'm totally surrendering. I must stand firm in the trust and in the know that what God has for me is for me. And if it is not, it's okay. If you want to leave, then you go. I'm going to steadfast on my path and I'm going to continue to push further in my growth, in my spiritual journey. That's it. But when you meet somebody and they're... Oh, and I'm going to tell you one thing too. Because the thing is, there's so many people out here so juvenile that they don't even know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what's going on. And it's so it's so unfortunate to see that a lot of times people don't even know. They don't even they don't even know the error of their ways. Nor do they know how foolish they're actually appearing when they think they are doing something smart. You know what I'm gonna block this motherfucker. The person that blocks is the weakest one. The loudest one in the room is the weakest one in the room. Always, always remember that. Sometimes it's best to be seen and not heard. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, and oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay, now you're showing all kind of insecurities. Now you're just looking bad. Now you're putting yourself in a bad way. Because at the end of the day, you know, we're supposed to be conquerors, soldiers. You want somebody with some strength saying, you know, but check this out. We're not going to allow this to beat us. We're going to fight through this right here. Damn it, is that not beautiful? That is what we're supposed to be pushing for. Not motherfuckers that we can just kick it with from time to time. Kick it with from time to time. What the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's cool if that's part of your terms and conditions from the giddy up. If you start it off with, look, check this out. Now, look, I'm on this journey to find my life partner, my twin flame. But from time to time, if you want to get at this and, you know what I'm saying, no strings attached, whatever the case. And therefore, if that's what you guys discuss, you know what I'm saying, that's, 
that's pretty much on you. You consenting adults and everything else, and that's you because the, at the end of the day, you're not feeding some bullshit to somebody. You know what I'm saying? You're not leading to leading someone to believe that there's going to be something that's going to manifest out of this foolishness. If 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 it's already put out there to look, check this out. We're friends and we're just having fun. Okay, consenting adults, do your thing. Run your goddamn program. But damn it, if you got one person thinking, okay, well, look at here. We could possibly go some places. And the other person is on just doing them. Now, guess what? This very thing that you're doing to this person is going to be done to you. Because after this shit is done, then you're going to meet somebody else that you're going to really want to solidify some shit with. It's like, man, check this out. Y'all thought I had a bad one last time? Check out this new one I got. Oh my God, she's this, this, this. She makes me feel that. She makes me feel this, this, this. But what you don't understand is it's a honeymoon period and a lot of times you're getting the representative. You're getting the mask. You're getting what they want you to know. That is not love. That is an illusion. Okay, it is a profound difference. And right now you're standing in lust because some unconditional love takes time. It is a process to get to a point where, you know, you said, oh, I just love you so much. I just love it. It's a process. If you ain't going through some shit, how the fuck can you really love something? You don't even know what it is yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's much, 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 much deeper than a lot of what, you know, people are just perceiving love to be. You know what I mean? So, but the thing is, if you're ready, and as you begin to work on your spiritual growth, and as you continue to further on your path, you're going to get to a point in your path where, you know what, check this out. I want somebody to roll this path with me. Because we were, we, 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 we were born to be, you know, uh, uh, a helpmate or, or help meet or, you know, a soul partner to another. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to be with somebody. It ain't. It ain't. When, when you hear somebody come with, oh well, no, nah, I'm single. And I'm just. I'm. I'm having fun. What? Quit lying to your goddamn self. Now you might have some fun sometime. You might have some fun when you get paid and you know you ain't got to share this shit with nobody. You might be all right when you go and go buy them shoes or purse or whatever your get down is and you ain't got to explain to another motherfucker about it or leave the shit in the trunk or at the job or whatever the case and hide it out. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't tell your spouse or your significant other at the pad that you done went and bought some shit at Dillard's or whatever your get down was. You know what I'm saying? So, it's deeper than that. But I ask that you look into Twin Flame. Look into Soulmate. Looking to romance and just jump offs and all that other shit. Because it's truly a profound difference. And you really, 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 really need to know what you're calling into your life. Because all this shit is karmic. So whatever you're doing to someone else will eventually be done to you. Mark my words. It's part of the word. This ain't some shit I made up. Okay? I didn't make this shit up. Okay? I ain't got nothing to do with it. Okay? But being on the both ends of both of that bullshit... Check this out. As for me, in my life, at this point in time in my life, Father God, I ask that you bring me my twin flame. If that means I need to be patient with the process, if I need, if I need to just sit back and stay in prayer, continue to meditate, continue to do my work, you know what I'm saying? Continue to do my homework, continue to strengthen my soul and strengthen my knowledge in thyself. Continue to get... Comfortable with, with, with who Tina is. I'm okay with that. I am so okay with just sitting up in my little bourgeois and just doing me. Reading my books. Figuring out some shit. Finding out a new way of doing things. Hell yeah. That's living, my friends. That's living. Come into the light. Let's come into the light. Let's help each other grow through this bullshit. Because it's a lot of underlying bullshit. And it's a whole lot going on in this life. There's a lot of motherfuckers walking around riddled with so much past pain. They ready to take flight on somebody at the drop of a dime. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people, you know, in the dark. You know what I'm saying? And they need our light. And they need 
our patients. Some of them want to love us, but a lot of them don't know how to love. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? So we have to be patient. We have to be patient. We have to be diligent. We have to respect ourselves, okay? And trust in the know that God ain't going to bring us no more than what we deserve. So if all you continue to get is shenanigan and bullshit, then guess what? You've been shenanigan and bullshitting with lace with mayhem for a long time. And you're just getting what you deserve. You're getting your just due. You're getting your reap. Okay? So then therefore, put out good works, family. Let's continue to put out some good works. You know what I'm saying? Let's continue to try to be some good people. Because for every year that passes, we get older. Check that out. Okay, regardless of what we might be able to look like, but on the inside, it just keeps tallying up. And if you don't slow down at some point in time, it'd be like, you know what, well, check this out. I'm ready to live an abundant life. I'm ready to stay in prayer. I'm ready to have some fun, some good, clean fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to stand in my truth. I'm ready to share my life with somebody that we both surrender into the love and we stand in firm in the trust in God. Yeah, that's some beautiful stuff, family. That's some beautiful stuff. That is what I want. That is what I declare. And in Jesus' name, I pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, unto you I say good night and amen. Bye, family.